I'm gonna talk about the top 10 things that star seeds, lightworkers, indigos are experiencing right now. Now, if you're not sure if you are a star seed, indigo light worker, definitely stay tuned for the full video and you will know. Now, I would also love if you comment below what you're going through, because of course, this is not just a small list. I could talk about a thousand things, but I want to talk about a lot of the stuff that I'm going through right now and that you probably are too. Now, this is earth 1111 i'm roxanne if you're interested in everything from co-creating new earth spiritual awakening ascension kundalini lots of different crazy topics definitely subscribe to the channel and hit that bell and it's my birthday this weekend i'm an equinox baby so i'm offering 25 percent off my entire website to celebrate you can use the discount code birthday to go deep into many different topics over many different courses and also if you, want, if you want to send me a donation for all the support that I've offered you guys all these years I would love and appreciate that so much so thank you so much I'll put all the links below in the description well, let's get into it now again this is not just 10 things that are going on this could be anything and I would love to hear from you what's happening in your world so let's just get right into it crazy crazy dreams nightmares lots of weird stuff going on and a lot of times i know people are remembering all of their dreams a lot more than before so when you dream you're actually moving through the astral portal and you're clearing a lot of stuff so um again at the beginning it could be a lot of scary stuff especially when you first go to sleep a lot of times we kind of move through a lot of that astral clutter so we can be some scary crazy stuff i've had a couple nightmares the last couple months that were pretty dark actually but normally i do a lot of grid work and gate work in my dreams so i am dreaming like my life is a shape-shifting plasma atomic life right i am the quantum wave and so my dreams is really an extension of where i do a lot of my work because my waking state is more about just getting into alignment. So I do a lot of collective clearing. So you could be doing things like lots of water, it seems to be in the dreams lately. I'm always swimming, going to the bathroom, washing my hands, taking a shower. A lot of times I'll see a lot of people, like I'm talking hundreds, even thousands of people. I may know them, um, usually I don't. And then all of a sudden I'm taking a shower or going to the bathroom. I'm just glad I haven't wet my bed. Let's, let's be honest. But yeah, you could probably be doing a lot of clearing your own traumas, but also for the collective when you sleep, because we do a lot of work in the higher dimensions. Now, let me know in the comments what kind of crazy dreams you've been having. But again, if you're able to remember more of your dreams now than ever before, that's because you are embodying higher dimensional levels, which means really higher DNA coding coming online, being activated, which means that your body can hold higher dimensions. So it's not that you have to leave your body when you sleep, and then when you come back, you don't have any memory of that in the 3D waking state. Like for me, pretty much most of my life, I have remembered my dreams like movies, like every single scene going on. Just the odd time that could be craziness. And, and again, I have mentioned before too, when you're coming out of that dream, look at the wall and see if you're coming out of a portal, a color. A lot of times now I come out of grids, like microscopic crazy grids. That gives you an indication of what dimension you were dreaming in. And I actually also had, um, a loved one that passed away last year come to me in my dream and he was looking so healthy and and the feeling was that he was finally free and actually after he passed away last year i had a dream about him and he wasn't doing good so i think he cleared a lot of that karmic baggage the things keeping him attached to this world and he his soul is healthy he was vibrant he was free so you could be having dreams about, of course, loved ones, loved ones as well, strangers, people from your past, lots of different stuff going on. We do a lot of work in the dreams. Now, number two, extreme triggers and emotions coming up. Okay, so this could be that some outside event triggers you and you could go off the deep end. I call it the snapping point is going on right now. Now that this whole year has been 
I call it the no bullshit year. I've been done with a lot of stuff. I'm really feeling that I am just moving on beyond a lot of the things I put up with in the past. Let me know what you're feeling on that. But right now it seems to be in the fall right now, of course, right? The world's going crazy. But it's because we're at that breaking point, the snapping point where we're not putting up with things that we have allowed in our life in the past. Now, this could be anything. You know, it could even be that something happens and all of a sudden you're like, that wasn't even a big deal for me yesterday, but now it is all I can feel because a piece of you that was dormant, that was locked away, like, like almost like a lost soul part that was abandoned, right? All these different things. Um, um, again, I have lots of the videos on these types of things, so check it out or, or lots of my courses as well to go deep into the healing process. But when we trigger an activation of a dormant or lost soul part, it could be like an explosion comes up where your rage is beyond what you've ever experienced before or your emotion, right? You might just be having a breakdown, like physically shaking, like almost like you're in a panic because your body is shaking out fear or of course tears, lots of crying, right? And that's because this part of us, it was like it was so buried we didn't know it was there. We ignored it for so, for so long. We just put up with things that were, right, that we deserve better, but we just put up with maybe a job, a relationship, a, a lifestyle, something, that something triggers in us and we are at that snapping point where we're done with it. The breakdowns and breakthroughs right now are so big and the emotion is big. But know that you have to get that emotion because that's been stuck within you. And that's coming up and out. And that piece of you is coming back online that has previously been repressed. So let me know if you guys are going through that because I'm at that point with a lot of things right now. Okay, let's get into number three, psychic attack. Now, you gotta realize, so the shamanic perspective of energies, right? Entities, spirits, demons, all these different things everything is just energy so something that is a dark energy right when we release the personas of something is this entity it's this demon that someone right that someone's energy is is attacking you or all these different things when we release the the persona we can realize you know what it's actually just energy that's disharmonious it's a chaotic pattern that is really yeah, it's sucking energy, but it's because it, it's in a chaotic pattern. So it's like someone having a, having a meltdown, right? They are pulling people's energy, right? So think about a chaotic pattern that's not in harmony with you. It's going to feel like a low energy, right? And a lot of times we can walk into a room and get slimed, I call it, right? It's kind of like Ghostbusters, literally. It's getting slimed. I, again, I, do, I talk about all these kind of things in my courses, so check them out for more. But it's when we, when our energy has holes in it because of our own traumas, ancestry lineage, programs, limiting beliefs, right? All these different toxins, so many different things within our own fields that we're healing. This, this is the culmination lifetime. We're healing everything, which means that you could have these holes in your aura, which is totally normal, but, but that, but essentially when something, so when you walk into a place or you're around someone, when you're slimed, right? Or when you feel like you're having this psychic attack, take out the persona, remove the fear and just realize that it's a chaotic pattern. The dark is always searching for the light, okay? So you, are, you might be the pathway to clear through that lower chaotic energy pattern of disharmony into a, to a, a beautiful energy, right? So I, did, I actually did a reel on this on Instagram and, and TikTok and Facebook the other day where think of it like a song, right? Everything is frequency and energy. So when someone plays out of, out of tune and it's like that annoying sound, that's the same thing as like a lower energy, right? Take out the persona. This is some way right, that you're being attacked and think of it as something is out of tune with you. 
But the fact that you're feeling it means that something within you is out of, out of tune that resonates with that thing, right? With that energy. So there's, but there's a lot of fear going on out there in the collective that, right, that we're being attacked by these things, right? Yeah, there's, there's astral stuff flying everywhere. I deal with it a lot, right? So if you have your actual birth chart when you were born, if you have some stars that are almost like these soul part graveyard stars, these stars that have fallen, that are holding a lot of unprocessed consciousness, if you're in alignment with certain stars like that, you could be the pathway to heal a lot of these lost soul parts of people, collective, right? We came here to heal our ancestry lineages. The list goes on, right? Childhood trauma, like all these different things, the list goes on, it never ends. This is the culmination lifetime of healing every single past, future timeline into this now moment. So more on that in other videos. Um, but that's the thing, right? Um, mostly know that there's something, right? The outside is a mirror. It's, it's showing you what within you has that same frequency of that out of tune energy. And it just really, right, um, it allows us to go within ourselves and figure out, okay, what within ourselves are we out of harmony with? Because when you seal up all your holes, when you, when you untwist all of your traumas, that's why I do 24 hours a day. This is what gatekeeping is all about, right? We are untwisting karmic knots. Your energy is so sealed, you don't pick up stuff like you used to. So back in the day, I couldn't go anywhere. So actually, this is number four. Being so sensitive to sounds, to light, like bright lights, to places you can't go to malls you can't hang out with people you can't even watch tv sometimes because it's like your nervous system is on overdrive remember that also the solar flares and things like that are triggering our dna it's triggering these things to come up these traumas you could feel like you are reliving traumas from the past they are diving deep into those things um now there's a lot more to do with that, but, but um, just know that sensitivity is part of the being, being a starseed light worker indigo because we have higher DNA patterns and we're in a toxic world. I don't know if you noticed, but the world is very dark and dense and is actually in reverse a lot of times. And, and we're, we're being bombarded 24 seven with a lot of, like I said, these disharmonious energies whether it's from the cell phone towers, whether it's from our food, whether it's from people, right? People flipping out, the list goes on. So a lot of spiritual hygiene, right? Spiritual hygiene right now is important. But yeah, the sensitivity, when I was a kid, I, there was some times where I had to have every single shade down in my house, like, and I'd be screaming because of any light. Like I'm sure that was the point where I was receiving a lot of probably solar flares were going on, probably activations back then, even before I knew any of this stuff. But yeah, sensitivity on overboard. And that's also what can also cause a lot of illness and sickness because we are so sensitive to things out there that other people think are normal. Well, it's not normal. Nothing's normal about this crazy world, but that's why you're here. So, Let's talk about that, right? Um, one by number five or something. Feeling like you don't belong, like you're from, from somewhere else. Well, yeah, you came here with stellar cosmic DNA in order to up-level this entire planet into a higher paradigm of new earth. We are co-creating new earth. So join me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I have lots more to talk about and go deep in my courses. Remember, 25% off for my birthday, discount code birthday. So know that you came here for a big purpose. Now, we're not the chosen ones, right? right? A lot of that's ego. It's more that we are holding higher pattern DNA that, that, that's reconnected, right? So our DNA is not all spliced up in, in that junk DNA. But that just means that we have more responsibility to heal ourselves so we can be of service to the whole collective.
right? We're not going around that we're the chosen one. We're so amazing and all these, you know, pawns over here and, and NPCs can, right, get out of our way. Like a lot of attitudes I see going on. But yeah, we don't want to have the spiritual ego. We want to be able to realize that we came here with a lot of this cosmic stellar DNA codes online in order to uplift this entire planet into a magical new earth. Because this could be, right? So that could also be number six, like that connection with a lot of this magical realm where you feel connected to mermaids, unicorns, dragons, angels, you know, a lot of these things that a lot of people think are kind of fantasy. Well, that's, those are higher dimensional aspects of us, right? We have pieces of our soul that are in all of these different star nations, worlds that could be ex you at, existing as a unicorn consciousness right now. Right? So the list goes on of all these different things, right? This galactic energy. So a lot of times people get a little obsessed with the alien stuff, but know that if you're connecting not with the lower astral kind of false light, but if you're connecting with real galactic aspects of yourself, not just these, right, groups, these, but I'm talking about you, your Palladian self, your Syrian self. All of these parts of you that exist in other dimensional bandwidths, right? These are different vectors, different coordinates in time space in the universal time spiral that we exist in. So it's magical. Know that magic exists. And of course, right, that interest in a lot of, like right now we have a lot of activations going on with different planets, right? Um, Uranus, Neptune, we got Pluto going on. We got a lot of dismantling of like old stuff so feeling like your old life is gone, like you don't even know who you are, your identity of self is gone, totally normal. If you're feeling that, like your old interests are gone and like you're a different person and you feel weird, that's normal. Weird is the new normal. Remember that. It's been my life for so many years, right? I love weird because I couldn't be normal. Normal is boring. <laughs> But that's why society wants us to be normal, right? Because they don't want your higher, higher DNA aspects coming online. They don't want us to think out of the box. If you're someone that's always felt different and stuff like that, totally normal, go with it. You're meant to, to shine bright in this world of darkness. So, and that could also be, right? A lot of synchronicities where, where you are so interested in these higher dimensional realms, right? Because essentially you're interested in the behind quantum field behind creation. It's the invisible realms, the spiritual realms, right? That interest in paranormal and weird stuff, ghosts, aliens, all, all these kind of things. Been my whole life. Um, as a kid, you know, I didn't know about ascension. I was always like awake. I knew like, so actually this could be, I don't know, I'm, I'm on my own number seven or eight here. Knowing that there's a better way to live this world, a better way to have a system in this world, because this world is bloody ridiculous, backwards, right? The suffering, like feeling the pain of the suffering of the animals, of the planet, of the trees, of the people. So that goes back to number four or whatever, being so sensitive to everything. You feel everything. Don't numb it out with drugs or with alcohol with pills embrace that feel everything you are meant to transmute large amounts of karmic debris emotional baggage for others that's how special you are yes it's not fun it's not fun feeling everyone's right suffering pain that empathy so big and that's because when you, the higher dimensions when you're connected to the spiritual realms they are collective realms. You are sensitive. It's almost like, like a wave pattern, right? So essentially like a sine wave. Well, it's actually a spiral, but it's almost like going from a lower frequency to a higher frequency, right? So many more data points of, of light intelligence, of information that you are connected to. You feel everyone's stuff. Not just the people around you. You can feel things happening in the planet, earthquakes happening on the other side of the world, hurricanes, people crying out, right? know that that is okay. 
It's not fun. My life has not been fun, but when you know how much you're doing, what a big role you have, and being able to literally influence the elements, right? You, so and that could be, what am I at, nine? Being able to literally affect the quantum field. Like I said, you might be seeing plasma, sparkles of light, grids, fractals. You might be seeing, like I said, spirits, right? These different energies behind auras. You might be seeing light. So you're seeing the energy behind the physical, right? We, we are multidimensional beings. We have many different dimensional layers. People are just so tuned in to see the physical, but not us. So if you're someone like that, even if it's a little bit, right, here and there, well, you can learn to tune yourself into that. Again, cleanse yourself, all these different things that we can do. Um, but yeah, right? Being so interested in that magical realm that it's like you can see, you can know the truth behind stuff, right? This is going on big time right now. The lies are spewing out of everyone's mouths right now. And you just know it. Whether it's the, the politicians, whether it's the, you know, the people all over their social media, whether it's your boss or whoever it is, you can tell. You read the energy frequency behind the words. You can tell instantly when someone's lying. Those spidey senses, big time, all the time, 24 hours a day. It's been like that my whole life. I didn't know about what it meant though. I just knew that I could read energy that way, right? Being able to read energy. You might be having psychic abilities, things like that, of course, right? That's all part of it. Um, so I go into a lot more on those types of things as well. Now, synchronicities. So because when you start aligning with the universal consciousness, when you start aligning with the, right, because you are actually projecting this outside creation from within yourself. Now, this isn't a simulation like it's some just mathematical program. It's actually an organic source, living, breathing, conscious, many fields, inside fields, inside fields, fractals, or, you know, fields of energy, energy rays. You can think of it all these, all these different things, but synchronicities happen and glitches in the matrix, things like that um, in your reality. Actually, I have other videos on that as, uh, um, as well. Check it out. But that happens because you are one with creation. So seeing all the number codes, 1111, there's a reason why I named my channel Earth 1111. In 2007, that was my wake-up code. I was seeing it everywhere. It was kind of freaking me out. I didn't know what it was, but I have a video on that too. Check it out. What are you seeing? 1111 or other codes, right? Because it changes. Now I'm seeing all different, you know, random ones. And not just that, animal encounters, right? Encountering these amazing connections with people that it's like, wow, how did that happen that I met this person? And then that led to this and this opportunity and this living like seeing the connection points between everyone and everything as your day goes on now if you're not having that or if you're kind of where it happened before but now it's kind of gone know that we're in a transition it's kind of like you are clearing timelines and you're clearing and you're healing and you're activating and it's kind of like sometimes it kind of goes offline for a bit as we as we're breaking down the the old structures which is happening in the world right now, by the way, the old structures, the old systems in every single way at the atomic level are dismantling. They are dissolving, which is why things are becoming f flexible. You can literally see your reality shape shift when you start to become that plasma atomic light body, which is really the inner creation, even beyond the crystalline light body, which is the outer creation. Again, all these types of topics you can check out actually I recommend Ascension Magic, which is like my, it's a huge course, over 125 videos, all different topics on so many different things I go in there. So check out, again, remember, discount for the rest of the month here, 25% off. Use the discount code BIRTHDAY. If you want a lot more details and all this kind of thing, if this is resonating with you, let me know in the comments too. And there's so many more things I can talk about, but just know that feeling like 
like that creativity is coming online, but also you feel like, oh, so sorry, back to, um, back to what I was saying about synchronicities. It, so if you feel like they're, they're not working sometimes, it might be that you need to shift. You need to eat cleaner. You need to change up your habits, right? Change your thinking, snap out of your same routine, and then the synchronicities might start again. So a lot of times with me, it's like, you know, you know I could be having them every five seconds. And then, and then sometimes it's like they're gone for a week and I'm like, what the heck? But know that that is all the part process of breaking down old creational stuck energy, rigid energy. Okay, making, recoding your DNA to new code so you can project a higher creation, a higher reality all around you. So seeing how you are affecting reality, you might start being able to move clouds. So essentially when you get your Merkaba going, that's for a whole nother video, but you can start literally being like an organ generator. You can clear those lines in the sky, let's just call them. You can move clouds. You can affect the wind, affect other people. Lots of craziness. Again, check out my other videos or, or definitely take a course if, if you wanna go deep into lots of different topics. Now, there's so many more things that I could probably think of I never make notes, so this is just out, out my mouth, the top of my head. Um, but just knowing that that creativity, oh, so I was saying that creativity is coming online, like so wanting to create new things, amazing new things, feeling a little bit blocked, like the old is just not going away, but also having amazing new ideas and, and inspirations, all the energy right now, right? We have a worldwide spiritual awakening happening right now. We have a worldwide breaking down of the old order top-down structures going on so yeah it's a mess it's a chaotic mess but you're here to clean it up to unify it and to co-create a brand new earth do it with me and don't forget to subscribe to the channel i'm roxanne if you like the video give me a thumbs up don't forget to share it with other people and let me know in the comments if you are a starseed lightworker indigo if you want to know more about what these differences are right again a lot of times it's just we use it to understand, then we throw out these terms, right? Because we are so beyond any identity, any label. Throw out the labels and step into your greatness. Now, I, I'm also on Instagram, TikTok, X, Facebook. You can watch different content there. Don't forget to subscribe. And you can um, get all the links um, below in the description here of this video. I'll put all my links there. And don't forget to use the birthday discount code birthday to get 25% off anything on my website. Again, I'll put more links below in the description and share the video. It's, it's a good one to, to share with your friends and know that you are not alone. We're here. We're remember we're, we're spaced out so we can be, be that anchor point all over the planet. Now I can probably think of another hundred thousand different things that are going on with star seeds light workers indigos right now but you can comment below and let me know some of the things are going on in your life because again this is not an extensive list i just thought of these 10 things as i'm blabbing to you right now that's how i did it so but yeah lots going on in my life lots of changing lots of shifting be the change shine bright and don't forget to check out my website for a lot more with my entire wide sale and happy equinox thanks so much i'm roxanne we'll see you very soon on earth 1111 shine bright take care bye